Hi students, welcome back and thanks for tuning in to the Sweet Sounds of Reading TV. Now I'm Tutor Vanessa and my job is to make sure that you're able to break down the sounds inside of any words so that you can read anything. Now with that being said, let's pick up where we left off from the last class and we were learning about um, vowel plus R partners, okay? Here we go. Just load it up on the screen here. So, this is a vowel plus R partner sound picture. It screams out the R sound only, not the vowel sound. Okay? So, we're going to repeat this new sound three times. And remember, it just screams out the R sound, so the new sound is R. Alright? So, I'll say it first, and then you say it. R, R, R. You say it. R, R, R. Good job, good job, good job. So let's recap. That means we're just going to go back over what we just discussed, okay? So when the letter E joins the letter R, we marry the partners, da -dun, da -da, and they form a brand new sound, and that new R partner sound is R, all right? So I want you to listen closely for the R partner sound as we practice together sounding out these three words that feature the er sound, all right? So I'll say it first and then you repeat after me. The very first word here is her. You say it. Her. What's a her? It's a girl, huh? So let's see. Can you think of a sentence that uses the word her? And I'll think of one with you. How about this? Does that banana belong to her? Her. Good job. The next word here is jerk. You say it. Jerk. Good job. Good job. Now, jerk can mean two things. Way, way, way long, long time ago, it used to be a dance called the jerk. Or it could be somebody that's um sort of a pain in the in the in the tootsie, right? So if somebody's a jerk, they're acting up. Right. So you could say, let's say that someone stole your um, or they took your your homework and they hid it from you. And you could say, stop being a jerk, jerk. Good job. All right. And the next word is ever. You say it ever. Tutor Vanessa wants you to be able to sound out words for ever and ever and ever. That means for a long time. And again, so you notice these three words, they all feature the ER partner, the, the vowel E plus R partner, and they make the ER sound. Good job, good job, good job. Okay. Moving right along. So this is a part of your homework where you're going to do the eye tracking exercise, okay? So you're going to track the um, the new partner sound we just learned, and you're going to read the words, sound out and read the words that feature the um, er, the er partner, and you're going to track from left to right. And this is an exercise that, that your eyes should be doing this when you get your homework, okay? Good job. So we're going to start right here on the left-hand side. We're going to do it together. One, two, three, go. Er. Verb, er, under, er, after, er, enter, er. Good job. So now we're going to take away the lines and we're going to do it one more time, okay? And let's see if you can, um, not so much keep up, but be able to track from from part from sound from partner sound to word without losing your place. Especially when we get to the end of the line, you're, when you get here, your eyes are just gonna whip to the next line. Okay, you, they're gonna be reading like that. Ready? Go. Er, verb. Er, under. Er, after. Er, enter. Er. Big ups. So again, and if you were um, not able to keep up, when you get your homework packet, you, when you do this part of the, the homework, just slow it down or speed it up and just practice this page at your own speed or at your own pace. Okay? All right. More homework, and this is the writing portion of your homework, where you're going to, when you get to this page, you're going to trace the ER partner that makes the ER sound, and you're going to write 
trace and write the words that feature the um, er partner sound, okay? And that's for all three levels. But for my levels two and three, you're gonna take it. To, you're gonna take it a, a step further. You're gonna do, you're gonna repeat the same thing again. Only you're gonna do it in cursive, okay? All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. More homework, and in this part of your homework, you're gonna sandwich the partner. That's, that's where you're going to make word sandwiches of the partner. And to make a, a word sandwich, you find the featured sound. In this case, it's the er partner. And you look for the sound on the left and the sound on the right. And you just sandwich them together, okay? So let's do the first one. Let's look at the SOS um, bookmark here. SOS stands for sound out steps. So the very first step, as you can see here, you underline the partner. So in this very first word, we're going to underline the partner ER, er. And the second step, you're going to sandwich the partner between the two sounds, okay? So we're going to sandwich this er partner between the, the, the letter V, which makes the V sound, and then the letter B, which makes the B sound. And then we're going to sound out the word sandwich, and the word is verb. Can you say that? Verb. What's a verb? It's a part of part of speech, and it's the part when you when you write a sentence, or when you when you state a sentence. The verb is the word that shows action, like um, I ran to to teach today's class. The verb is ran because it's action. I ran because I was so excited to get before you today. Verb. Good job. Now, we haven't done this type of word sandwich in a long time. So, but, um, so the very first thing you're going to do, you're going to sandwich, I mean, you're going to underline the partner. The next step, you're going to sandwich the partner. Now, our situation here is that there's not a sound on the right side, right? So this is going to be a half sandwich. So then you have to sound out the sandwich. Tur. Now, you're going to also circle the vowel, okay? If there's any extra vowels, you're going to circle the vowel, you're going to sandwich the vowel, all right? So in this word, the, the um, vowel, e, we're going to circle it, and then we're going to sandwich that, that I between the S on the right and the S on the left, and sound out the word sandwich is sis. Now put sis with, that other, with the, the vowel sandwich that we sound out, ter. You put sister, sister, sister. Do you have a sister? A sister is um the your, is the the girl part of your um your family, right? So you might have a brother, and then you have a sister, right? So it's a female. Good job, good job. All right, moving right along. So now we come to the part, the homework part, where you're gonna see the sounds in your mind's eye, right? That that third eye, right here in the center of your forehead. That's your your third eye. So you're gonna I want you to be able to. Close your eyes and see the sound. I want you to listen and, and, and listen for the sounds that you hear, especially the partner sound. Now, the, um, the, the ER partner sound, er, it's two letters, but it makes one sound. So the sound that we're, um, the word that we're featuring today is boxer, boxer, like somebody that, you know, boxes, you know. Whatever. Anyway, so boxer. So I want you to look at this word boxer. Okay, look at it closely. Now close your eyes. Close your eyes. And let's count how many sounds we hear in boxer. Keep your eyes closed, please. Boxer. So I hear you hear the b a x. Because remember, open your eyes for a second. Remember the letter X is a is a, a quickie two sound because the letter X makes two sounds. It makes the K and the S, right? Now close your eyes again. And then you hear the er. So boxer, open your eyes. So in boxer, you hear one, two, three, four, five sounds, right? Again, because the letter X makes two sounds. It's a quickie two sounds. Also, so in the word boxer, you see one, two, three, four, five letters. And you hear five sounds in this case because of that letter X, boxer. So this is a part of your homework. There's a whole sheet of words where you're going to... Um, you're going to say the word, and then you're going to sound out the word. You're going to close your eyes, listen to how many sounds you hear. Now, for my level one student, you're going to write the number of sounds that you hear on the line. But for, but for my levels two and three, you're going to take it another step. You're going to write the sound types that you hear. So, for instance, in the word boxer, you hear 
uh, a bounce sound, the letter B. You hear a slide sound, the letter O. You hear the quickie two sound, the letter X. And then you see and you hear the partner sound, er. Okay? So that's your assignment. Alrighty then. So, more homework, and this is the part of your homework where you can um, have fun, make a game, play games, okay? And so you're going to make flashcards. And so you're going to ask your um, your mom or your dad or your reader teacher to make two copies on this pa of this page on thick paper. And then you're just going to cut out the um, the flashcards. And you can either play the um, you can either play the memory game, you can play Go Fish, or you can just use them as flashcards to help you with your spelling and your comprehension. Okay, so you are um, gonna each each word you're going to um, use it in a sentence. Okay, or tell the definition, which means tells what tell what the word means. All right, good job. Alrighty then, let's talk about clown sounds. Now we're gonna in this particular word, um, there's a lot of clowning going on. And for instance, there's a clowning partner. Now, how do you know it's a clowning partner? Because I left you a clue, right? So the symbol for a partner's, I mean, a, the symbol for a clown sound. And a clown sound is simply a word that's goofing off, being silly, not saying the sound that it's supposed to make, right? It's not saying it's it's real sound. So we've just learned that the, the, the partner ER should say er. But in this particular word, it's clowning around. The partner's clowning around. And I gave you one more clue. The partner is making the air. It sounds like air. Like two vowel walking plus the R. It sounds like air. Okay. So using the clues that I provided for you. Remember this partner that should say er is saying air. Can you can you sound out this word before I give you the, the um, answer? Now again, my levels two and three, you probably already know what this word is, but don't check out. I don't want you to mentally check out because I want you to see the code. What you're doing here is you're coding, okay? All right, so you can almost say, take that Mark Zuckerberg. We can code. You're coding. All right, so what's this word? Now, did you say berry? Berry. Good job, berry. Now, do you like a berry is a type of fruit and it could be a strawberry or a blueberry or a blackberry. Do you like berries? I love berries and they're so good for you. Berry. Good job. Good job. Let's do another one. Same case here. There's a clowning partner. And again, this clowning partner is a clowning around saying air. It, it looks like very, right? Very. Based on what we just learned about the ER partner, it looks like very. But that partner sounds clown around, being silly, goofing off. It's saying air. All right. So using the sound out clues that I provided for you, can you sound out this word before I give you the answer? Did you say very? Very good. Very. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Moving right along. Oh, there's one more. All right. Same thing. Um, look at the clues that I provided for you. So what we see on the screen here, we see another clowning partner. That ER partner's clowning around again in this word. Instead of saying er, it's saying air again. But there's one more element. The letter E on the very end, it's clowning around also. And you see the sh lady? So it's letting you know that this letter E is saying nothing. It means silence. All right. So using the sound out clues that I provided for you, especially my level one students, my levels two and three. Again, if you already know the word, just look at the code. Because when you're reading, when you start reading really, really big words and, and stories, you should be able to see the codes instantaneously. That means just like that, just see the code, all right? So again, what's the word here? There. Did you say there? Like over there. Look over there or over there. There. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Oh, here's another one. This is just like there, but the um, partner, um, WH, remember the WH partner is that the breath air partner? All right. So there's a clowning partner here. The ER is clowning around and it's saying air. And again, the E is being silent. So using the sound out clues that I provided for you and based on what you know about the WH partner, can you sound out this word for me? Now, did you say where? 
where? Like, where'd it go? Where? Where? It's a question. Where? Good job. Everybody, good job. Okay. So, this is the part of your homework where you show your letter sound out skills. And so what you're going to be doing is you, um, this, you're going to be just reading the words. You're going to be sounding off all of these words feature, uh, er partner sound, the, the, the er partner sound, er. So again, for my level one students, I would suggest, that means I think that you should only do like two, no more than three lines a day or a class. But, if you feel like you got it like that and you're on a roll and you're like, this is easy, easy peasy, do your thing. Read as much as you can. But for all three levels, make sure you just take a moment and use each word in a sentence. And if there are any parents or your teachers in the room, in your homework packet, there is a, um, a suggestion or a how-to page on how best to use um, these reading word fluency practice pages and work with your with your child, okay? And, and guess what? Levels one, or all three of my levels, there's 80 words in this particular um, part of the, of the um, practice by itself. 80 words. There are 80 words that you can read by yourself on, on top of all those other words that we've learned in the past. Good job, good job, good job. All right. Now, this is part two of the word fluency practice. That means you're just you're practicing to see how, how smooth and liquid and how fast you can sound out these words without even thinking. Here's 80 more words, 80 more words you're going to add to your vocabulary. I lost count eons ago. So you probably, you're probably reading thousands and thousands of words by yourself, or you probably can, okay? Good job. Good for you. All right. So again, this is just um, page number two of your um, sound out fluency. So you're just going to take your time. You're going to use every word in a sentence, etc., etc. I was, I would also make a suggestion for any parents or reader teachers. You can kind of switch off to make sure that everybody stays engaged. So you can say, you read a word, then I read a word. You read a word, then I read a word. Or you read a line, then I read a line. You read a line, then I read a line. So that's how, that's a good way you can work with your students, right? And students, that's a good way that you can work with your um, parents or reader teachers. So make sure everybody stays in the game. All right. More. This is um, page number three. This is the third part of your um, show what you know, sound out the words um, practice. Now, these words are a little bigger, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're harder because if you've been practicing, and you know the letter sound codes that, that we've gone over so far. Just take your time. Sound out these words. If you see any um, compound words, and compound words are two um, words, two um, small words squished together to make a big word, look for the compound words. Again, just take your time. And I've given you tools along the way, haven't I? You can make word sandwiches. You can... Dan listen for the beat and dance the sounds. Um, get a, get a scratch sheet of paper. Um, you can identify the sound types. You know, slide, bounce, quickie, two breath, etc. All the tools that I've given you so far, whatever works, use them. Or again, like I said, just take your time and sound out these words because there's no such thing as a word too hard to read for those that know the code. Good job. Good job. Good job. Moving right along, let's learn a new R partner sound, okay? This is a vowel plus R partner sound picture. It screams out the R sound only, not the vowel sound. So in other words, in the IR um, partner, the, the I is silent and the R says R. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Does this sound familiar? R. Hmm, where have we heard this sound before? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh-oh. Here it is. This is a copycat sound. What's a copycat? Somebody that copies off of you. You ever had somebody, if you did something, they did it. You know, everything, every time you did something, they did it, right? So this is a copycat sound, all right? And this new this new letter I vowel plus R partner sound, it copies and it makes the exact same sound that we just learned, er, as E-R, okay? So, so the 
the part, or I should say the sound, er, the partner sound, er, could be spelled er or ir in a word. They both say er. But getting back on track, okay? So let's repeat this new vowel plus r partner sound, er, three times. Er, er, er. Good job. You say it. Er, er, er. Wonderful. All righty then. Da -da -da. So let's recap this. We're going to go back over. That means we're going to go over. We're going to review. We're, we're going to make sure that everybody's on the same page. So when the letter I joins the letter R, we marry the partners together. Da -dum -da -da, da -dum -da -da, and they form a brand new blissful wedded sound. And their new sound is er. Good job. So I want you to listen closely for the er partner sounds as we practice sounding out these three words that feature the er sound. All right. So here goes. I'll say it first and then you say it. Sir. You say it. Sir. What's a sir? It's a man like it's a it's a it's a man, you know, or a dad or or is a boy, any you know, a male. So you might say, "Excuse me, sir. Can you help me sound out this word, sir?" Good job. The next word, bird. You say it, bird. What's a bird? It's a cute little animal that goes tweet 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 tweet. Bird. All right. Next word, girl. You say it, girl. Remember we learned about a girl when we when we were practicing the ER part of it. We said a girl was a her. So a her is a girl. All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. All right. So this is the homework part. This is your homework where you're doing the eye tracking exercise. But this time you're featuring the, you're featuring the er partner sound spelled I-R. All right. So we're going to start here on the left. Let's do this. Ready? Go. Er, dirt, er, stir, er, first, er, third, er. Good job. So now we're going to take away the lines and we're going to do it one more time. Ready? Go. Er, dirt, er, stir, er, first, er. Third, er, big ups, big ups. And again, if that was a little bit too fast, when you get your homework packet, slow it down. Do this exercise or do this page at your own pace. I mean, that means as fast or as slow as you want or need to go. Okay, all righty then. This is more of your homework. Where you're gonna? This is the writing part of your um, homework. Where you're going to to trace and write the er partner spelled I R, and then you're gonna trace and write the three words that feature the um, er partner. Okay, and this is for all three levels. However, levels two and three, you're gonna do the same thing again. Um, you're just gonna do it in cursive. All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. More homework. And this part of your homework, you're going to sandwich the partner. Okay? All right. So you're going to follow the sound out steps in the little ruler that, that's um, in your homework packet. Very first step is to underline the um, partner. Second step is to make a word sandwich of the partner. And to make a sandwich, you sandwich that, that partner between the sound on the right and the sound on the left. You sandwich it together. You sound out that word sandwich. Very first one, let's let's go here. So you underline the partner, which is er, and then you sandwich it between you sandwich the er partner using the g sound and the u uh sound. And then you sound out the word sandwich. Girl. Girl. Good job. Alright. Let's do the next one. Very first step you're gonna do is you're gonna underline the partner. Er. And then you're gonna sandwich that partner between the sound on the left and the sound on the right. And you're just gonna sound out the sandwich, nothing else, nothing extra. So the sandwich, this word sandwich would be first. And then you're gonna add that extra sound. We have an extra sound, we're gonna add that t. So we're gonna add the t to the first sandwich, and it will be first. We're gonna blend together first. So have you ever been first in line when you had to line up for recess or um, go to lunch? First, that means you're number one. Good job. Let's look at this next one. 
So the very first thing you do, you're going to underline the partner sound. And then you're going to sandwich that partner between the sound on the left and the sound on the right. But uh-oh, we have a situation. Now, who remembers what happens to the letter U when it follows the quickie to Q? Who remembers that, that, um, that little rule or that chant? Hmm? Now, did you say, you don't say the U when it follows the quickie to Q, right? So when you're sounding out a word, if you see a letter Q, and you, and, and you look for that use, it's almost like you're going to exit out. It's almost like it's invisible, like it doesn't exist. All right? So we're going to go, we're going to skip over that U because it's silent. It's always silent when it follows Q. And we're going to go to the Q. So to sound out this first sandwich, it would be, and remember, Q is a quickie two sound that makes the KW sound. Right? U is silent. So sound out this sandwich, it would be, quirked, quirked, quirked. There's an extra sound in this, all right? So we're going to add the, the S sound, that extra sound S to our, our word sandwich, quirked. So we add the S to quirk, it would be squirt. Like, you ever played with a squirt gun? Hmm? You fill it up with water and you squirt people? Squirt. Good job, good job, good job. All righty then. Moving right along. This is the part of your exercise where you see the sound. Um, in your mind's eye, that third eye right there in the center, okay? And so what you're going to do is you're going to look at the word when you get your, when you do your home, this part of your homework. You're going to sound it out, and then you're going to listen for the sounds, how many sounds you hear, okay? So in this um, particular example, I use the word dirt, dirt. Look at the word dirt, D-I-R-T, dirt. Now close your eyes. I want everybody to participate. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Dirt. How many sounds you hear? Dirt. Let's see. Keep them closed. I hear d. I hear er. And I hear t. Open your eyes. There's three sounds, right? Because the I-R partner, even though a partner's two sounds, but it makes one sound. Er. Dirt. So there's three sounds in dirt. Again, for my level one students, you're going to just look at sound out the word, close your eyes, count how many sounds you hear, and then write the number on the line. But for my levels two and three, you know what you're going to do. You're going to take it a, a step further. You're going to write the sound types that you hear. So for instance, in the word dirt, you hear a bounce sound. You see and you hear a partner sound, I-R, and then you hear a bounce sound, t, right? Dirt. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. All righty then. All right, so more homework, and this is where you're going get to get to play games. You get to play the memory game, or you get to play Go Fish, or just make flashcards. So you're going to ask your mom, your dad, or a reader teacher to make two copies of this page on um, thick paper, and you're just going to make flashcards, okay? All righty then. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, there's those pesky clown sounds. All right. So look at this particular word. Using the clues that I provided for you, can you sound out this word before I give you the answer? Now, in this particular word, there are two partners, and both of them are clowning around. That means both of them are being silly. Neither one of the partners in this word is saying the sound that it's supposed to make. Now, let's, let's start in the back. Because when we break down words, we always start in the back and work our way to the front. So this very first partner, O-R, who remembers what OR, what sound should OR, OR partner make? OR, right? Like OR, OR. But in this particular word, it's clowning around, pretending, being goofy, being silly, pretending like it's an ER partner, saying ER, all right? And then the IR partner that we just learned that should say ER, in this case, the, the, the partner's clowning around making the I sound, eh, all right? So this partner is saying eh. This partner is saying er. It's clowning around saying it. It's clowning around saying er. All right, so using the sound out clues that I provided for you, can you sound out this word before I give you the answer? Now, did you say mirror? Like mirror, mirror on the wall. Show me how my mouth should fall. Mirror. Well, I don't think it goes like that. I think it was the Wicked Witch writer just mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? But mirror, it's a looking glass, something you look in to see, you know, what you look like. Mirror. Good job. Good job. Good job. Alrighty then. 
All right, so this is um, more of your homework. In this particular exercise, you're gonna show your you're gonna show your stuff. You're going to um, sound. You're gonna show how well, how quick, how smooth, how fluid, how fluent or fluent, fluid and fluent. They kind they kind of sound right. Sound alike, right? That you can sound out these words without even thinking. That you can see the code, so to speak. You know the code. You can see the code, and you can say the code faster than you can think. All right, so. Again, you're going to um, work with your mom or your dad or your parent or a reader teacher and parents and reader teachers. You're going to use the um, the instruction page in your um, in the homework packet to help you um, to help you help your student um, best um, get the most out of this particular um, part of the the homework. All right. And the second part of the homework, the words are a little more advanced. That means they're, they're bigger. Yeah, they might be kind of difficult for people who don't know the code, but that's not you. You're going to take your time. You're going to sound out these words. You know, you're going to look for the partner, sandwich the partner, um, you know, dance it out, whatever you need to do, okay? And there's quite a few um, compound words in the second part. So a compound word is two small words, squish it together to make what to make what appears to be a big word, okay? So again, you can do this. I believe in you. All right, let's learn another um partner sound. All right. So this is a vowel plus R partner sound picture. It screams out the R sound only, not the vowel sound. This sound picture says er pump your brakes, pump your brakes. Deja vu. You know what deja vu means? Like, did I already do this? Did, have I done this before? Hmm. Deja vu. Does this sound like something that you've already learned? Err. Err. Let's see. It's a copycat. This is just another copycat sound, right? These three sound pictures, or partners, I should say, copy off of each other, and they all sound just alike. In other words, they make the same sound when they appear in different words. So if you see this partner, um, this partner sound in a word, it might be spelled E-R, it might be spelled I-R, or it might be spelled U-R. Doesn't matter. They all say er. They're copycats. Er, er, er. So we're going to repeat this sound. Let's repeat these three sounds. Er, er, er. One more time. Er, er, er. Good job. But we're going to focus. We focus on one thing at a time, okay? So we're focusing right now on the UR partner sound, er. So again, let's repeat this partner sound three more times. Er, er, er. You say it. Er, er, er. Good job, good job, good job. All right. So let's recap. When the letter U joins the letter R, we marry the partners. Da -dum -da -da. And they form a brand new union, a brand new sound. And that new sound is er. Listen for the er sound as um, we practice these these three words together. All right, I'll say it first, and then you say it. Fur. You say it. Fur. Does your dog have a lot of fur? Or you, have you ever had a dog? You know anybody that had a dog and they their their fur would shed all over the furniture. That means it would. Be all over the place, right? Fur. Next word. Turn. Turn. If you turn, you turn a knob to turn something on. Or you could turn around, right? If you spin around, that means you turn around. Last word is hurt. You say it. Hurt. If you're riding your bike and you fall off and you Scrape your knee, you hurt your knee. Hmm. All righty then. All right, so this is part of your homework. Where you're going to, um, we're going to be doing the eye tracking. We're going to be tracking sounds like that. All right, ready? Go. Er, curb. Er, surf. Er, burn. Er, church. Er. Big ups, all right. Now we're going to take away the lines and do it one more time. One, two, three, go. Er, curb, er, 
surf, er, burn, er, church, er, big ups, big ups, good job. All right, this is the printing, the writing part of your um, homework, where you're going to um, trace the UR partner sound that makes the er sound, and then you're going to trace and write the um, three words that feature er, the er sound. All three levels, this is an activity or a homework for all three levels, but for my levels two and three, you're just going to do the same thing all over again, but you're going to do it in cursive, okay? All righty then. Sandwich the partner, more homework, where you're going to sandwich the er partner sound. But if there's another, after you make the word, the, 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 um, the partner sandwich, if you see another vowel, then you're just going to circle the vowel and sandwich the vowel. But let's, let's do first things first. So the very first thing you're going to do, you're going to underline the partner, er, and then you're going to sandwich that partner um, between the sound on the left and the sound on the right, so the t and the n, and then you're going to sound out that word sandwich. And this particular word sandwich, you sound it out as turn, turn, good job. Let's do the next one. You're going to underline the partner sound, that's step number one. And then you're going to sound out this, you're going to make, you're going to sandwich the partner between the sound on the left and the sound on the right. So the, the sandwich is turb, turb. And then you're like, uh oh, I've got a vowel. Because you always, if you, if you have extra vowel, you always sandwich the vowel. You make um, word sandwiches, right? So the first, the first thing you do, you're going to circle the, the, the vowel, which is e, and you're going to sandwich that vowel between the sound on the left and the right. And sound out the sandwich is dis. And you put this first sandwich with the second sandwich is disturb, disturb. Like you bother somebody and you disturb them. All right? So when you do your homework again, there's a whole sheet of words that feature the UR partner sound er, where you're going to sandwich the partner. All right? Good job, good job, good job. All right? Next part of your homework featuring the er, spelled U R. You're going to see the sounds in your mind eye, in that third eye right there. You're going to close your eyes and see the sounds in your, um, in your mind. So I did an example of the word hurt. Hurt. So look at the word hurt. Now close your eyes and listen. Hurt. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Hurt. How many sounds you? So you hear the, the, you hear the er, and you hear t. Open your eyes. You hear three sounds. And look at what you see in the word hurt. There's a breath air sound, there's a the partner sound er, and a bounce sound. Level one, students, you're just gonna write how many sounds you hear on the lines. My levels two, my levels two and three, you're gonna write the sound types that you hear. Alright? Alrighty then. Moving right along. This is where you get to play. Get to play, play, play. Play while you learn. So you're going to um, make flashcards. So you're going to ask your mom, your dad, or reader, teacher to make two copies of this page on thick paper. And then you can just cut out the flashcards. And then you're going to play the memory game, Go Fish, or you're going to use them as flashcards to help you with your spelling and your understanding of these words, okay? Because you're going to use them in a sentence. Good job, good job, good job. Oh, now let's talk about those pesky clown sounds. All right. So in this particular word, the you are partner er is fine. It's not clowning around or anything. But the letter O in this word is clowning around. Now remember, a long, long time ago, I, I shared this little this little tool, this little tip with you. When you are when you're looking at at a word, looking up how to sound out a word, and you see a little bitty line, like this little line over a vowel, that's always your your, your clue that when you sound out that vowel is making it, it's saying it's letter names. It, it, some people call it the long vowel sound, but when you sound it out, it, it's saying it's name. So if you see a little line over a vowel, remember when you sound it out, you say the, it's almost like you're saying the vowel, the, the vowel name. So using the sound out clues that I provided for you, can you sound out this word? Now my levels two and three again, don't mentally check out if you already know it. See, see the code, know the code, become the code. My levels one students, what's this word? Now, did you say your? Like you're getting really good at sounding out these words. Your, good job, good job, good job. Oh, let's try this one. 
again the the you are partners fine see that the heart represents the partner sound er so it's not clowning around it's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing it's saying the sound that it's supposed to be saying but again this letter o is clowning around and look at your little clue that that little line over the the vowels let you know that it's saying its name when you when you sound this out you when you sound out a um a vowel that has a little line over it that's your clue your tip to 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 say the the vowel name the long vowel sound all right so using the clues I provided for you what's this word did you say yogurt yogurt do you like to eat yogurt yogurt kind of tastes like a pudding or something a cold pudding yogurt all right so this is your homework where you show your letter sound out skills. This is where you show what you know. This, we got we got to always practice. We got to drill, practice, drill, practice, because we don't want to move on to another um to the next level until you've got this level down packed. So it's really important that you practice, practice. Even if you think you know it, just practice, practice, practice. Okay. So you're going to um sound out the words on this page. All right, and you're going to work with your mom or your dad or your parent or, you know, whoever, your reader teacher. The second part of um, this homework, or this, this, this particular um, sound out word practice, the words are a little more advanced. That means they could be a little more difficult, a little more challenging. But for those of you that know the letter sound codes, remember, there's no such thing as a word too hard to read. So you're just going to take your time, sound out these words, and, and, and do what you do. All right, this is kind of a big class. As we learned three new partner sounds, we three new sounds, three new codes today. So now we're at the letter sound codes countdown clock. And look where we are. As of today, we have learned 46 letter sound codes. Give yourself a hand. Good job. We only have 57 to go. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's not. And here's why. Look at the um, the countdown clock. Look where we are. We're way down here. We started way up here, and we have learned all of these codes so far. We're almost at that halfway mark, aren't we? All right? So we're just doing big things, and you are becoming master, masters at sounding out words and recognizing letter sound codes. All right? All righty then. Now, this is the part where you um, let Tutor Vanessa know how she's been doing. You give me a grade. If, and I hope you do, you like this class, you learned something in this class, hit that like button underneath um, this video. And even if you didn't like it, lie. Don't hurt my feelings. Like it. And if you haven't done so already, any parents or reader teachers in the room, just hit the subscribe button. So that way um, you'll, be, you'll be one of the first ones to know whenever a new class becomes available and a bonus class. I'm, I'm cooking up something really special. Um, this should be coming out in a week or two. So make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out. All right. Good job. Good job. This was a pretty big class, and there's a whole bunch of homework that you need to do in this class, okay? But before you go, there's two things I want you to remember. Number one is practice makes perfect, okay? So I really want you to practice, practice, practice the R vowel partners that you learned in this class. The copycats, I don't remember the er, 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 copycat sounds, right? They can be spelled E-R, uh, e I-R, or you R. Okay, and number two, the reason I want you to practice these codes is because for children of the code, and who's that? That's you. There's no such thing as a word too hard to read. So, with that being said, I'm going to see you guys in the next class. Bye for now.